What's up guys, PowerGPU here. Um, doing the conclusion video for the AMD 6850. Um, just gonna talk about it a little bit as far as temperatures go. Um, the results I got um, and some games I tried it on. I didn't show all of them on the footage just because it takes up a lot of time to do. Um, as you can see, I got three more events that's running. Um, that's gonna be the last thing I post for this video card. So we're gonna leave that running in the background here. Um, well, first of all, presentation on Gigabyte. Um, really good, amazing. Great box art, um, three year warranty through the manufacturer, great design on the video card. I'll show you some uh, pictures afterwards on the video. Um, I mean, just great stuff. Um, as far as the benchmarks go, I mean, you guys already saw Batman Arkham Asylum did very good at average 60 FPS at the 5,296 by 1050, which is really good for one video card, especially priced at 179.99. Um, the next benchmark you saw was Hawks 2, which again, an average there. Uh, I think max frame rate was 102, and uh, average was 70 something as well. 70, I think it was on that one, at max settings. Um, and then of course you're gonna see, um, you've seen Lost Planet 2 and Mafia 2 as well. Um, those two games are more graphical intense, so if you notice the average frame rate on those, I, Mafia 2 was like 27 and um, Lost Planet 2 is about 21.5, um, which is not bad for what graphical intense game that is. Um, as far as the design of the graphics card, um, it's really great. The heat pipe is, is, the design is great on it. The dual fans are amazing keeps the temperatures down very well. Um, temperatures, like I said, the temps for some games, depending on what game you play, um, the highest I ever saw it get was about 59 to, well, highest I ever saw was about 61 Celsius. Um, I'm doing 3D Mark Vintage now, um, so we'll see what the temperatures get on that, which actually I do have an MSI Afterburner running. Um, let me see here. Right now it's running 55 Celsius on 3D Mark Vintage, uh, which is not bad. I don't wonder if you guys can see this from the top corner right there. Um, so GPU right now is being used at 99% on that. Got up to 56. So very great temps. Um, idles around 39, 40 Celsius. Uh, and the fan speed always stays at around 30%. Um, I've never seen it get any higher, any lower. It just stays there. I didn't try increasing the fan speed. If I would have, I, I bet you anything, it probably would have been a lot better temps on that. Um, but other than that, like I said, great video card. I would definitely recommend it for a lot of you users that are more in the, you know, you want to use your machine but don't want to spend high dollar for it. Um, $179.99, very good deal. Um, if you guys have any questions or anything over this video card, please leave some comments below. Um, guys, subscribe. Um, keep me active. I'll be posting the full review on PowerGPU.com. It'll be right on the front page. If you don't see it there, it'll be under GPU, the tab. Um, again, post comments there as well. Send me some messages, um, again, if you have any questions on that. Uh, just a quick reminder as well, um, the rumors about the 580 GTX coming out next week. Um, I'm not sure if it's exact. I mean, November 9th is what Guru3D has been saying. Um, a lot of different other websites have been saying it as well. Um, and of course, the 6000 series on November 17th, uh, that's been floating around. One thing I will say about the 580 is it's using still a 384-bit memory interface. So it's not a 512 yet, um, so NVIDIA is promising 15 to 20 percent increase as far as over the 480 TX, which is still a good, I mean, it's a very good percentage-wise. Uh, Dark MX gave me a good good example, though. If you do, like he does, uh, does full liquid cooling, you could overclock your 480s quite a bit, more than 20 percent, um, and get the frame rate a lot higher than a 580 would. That's if you're liquid cooling and you got the right system to do it. And I'm not talking about these little thermal take big water CE liquid cooling, I'm talking about Eddie Eek, you know, water block systems and everything like that. All right? All right, so I'm gonna let this run, guys. Um, and you guys will see the final results on it, all right?